On International Women's Day, we celebrate women's achievements around the world. This is the 101st anniversary of the day. We have come a very long way. There is, I would say, a tipping point in gender equality today. But nevertheless, there are far too many countries in the world where women do not enjoy equal rights under the law. In far too many countries of the world, women cannot inherit property on an equal basis, um, cannot go to court on an equal basis, uh, cannot work on an equal basis as men, cannot enjoy the basic rights and privileges that make life uh, worthwhile. And it is for those women that the struggle continues. And this is where the work of IDLO, the International Development Law Organization, becomes important. Because when law doesn't protect you, then of course society sees that as a sanction, as an approval of their own discrimination. And it is in that kind of environment that violence flourishes, that inequality flourishes, that injustice flourishes for women. And that is why I am very proud, as IDLO's first woman director general, to see the work that our organization is doing in countries like Afghanistan, where we have helped establish units to counter violence against women, units where hundreds of women can now come and seek justice and support. I'm very proud of the work that IDLO is doing and has done in India and in Paraguay, where we are empowering communities of women and girls to stand up and resist trafficking and exploitation of women. We have worked also in countries like Liberia, Rwanda and Mozambique uh, to strengthen uh, land title, property rights for women. So whether it is in the context of violence against women, whether it is in the context of legal empowerment of women, whether it's in the context of economic rights, there is a lot that remains to be done, but there is also good news. And it's a great privilege uh, for IDLO to be part of that good news as women and girls around the world stand up for their own rights and make a difference.